Hi, I'm Minnie. I'm a product manager at Google on the Alternative Access team. I want to tell you about TV White Spaces. TV White Spaces is the name that we're using to refer to the empty TV channels. So right now, if you have an old TV, you can flip between the channels and you'll see that something's being broadcast on channel 5, something's on channel 9, on channel 11. But in between those channels, there's static, and that's what we're calling the TV White Spaces. So traditionally, TV broadcasters have broadcast using two channels for the same program. They've broadcast one broadcast uh, on an analog signal on one channel and a digital uh, broadcast on another channel. Now in February 2009, the FCC has said all TV broadcasters have to move off of their analog broadcast and broadcast in digital only. So that's going to free up a huge amount of spectrum. And the question now is, what should be done with, with all of that spectrum that gets freed up? Um, a lot of people don't spend a lot of their time thinking about wireless spectrum and its potential uses, but it turns out it's a cornerstone to our wireless communications. So TV broadcasters are, are an obvious use here, but radio uses wireless spectrum, your cell phone uses wireless spectrum, everything from uh, your garage door opener to baby monitors, um, great examples of, of wireless spectrum in use today. Uh, the way that, that the uses of, um, uh, of wireless spectrum get decided is really by the government. It's by the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC. Spectrum is, at, a, at its core, a finite public resource. It's, it's a public good. And so the government decides either to make spectrum licensed spectrum and grant an exclusive license for use of that spectrum, or to make it unlicensed. Uh, in the case of licensed spectrum, it would be like NBC has an exclusive license to broadcast on a particular channel. Wi-Fi is a good example of unlicensed spectrum. So with Wi-Fi, uh, there are certain rules that the FCC made about the use of Wi-Fi, and then any airport or any coffee shop can put up a Wi-Fi hotspot that, that conforms to those rules, and any device maker, so your laptop or your Sony PSP, can embed Wi-Fi, and you see a whole ecosystem pro proliferating of, of devices and locations that are using Wi-Fi in an unlicensed manner. Um, so what, what, what Google's been doing, Google's involvement here, is, is to advocate for the unlicensed use of these TV white spaces. And uh, we've, there's been years of debate about what to do with the TV white spaces once they actually become uh, freed up by the TV broadcasters. The time is now. The broadcasters are moving out of that spectrum in February 2009. So Google has joined a really broad coalition, includes device makers, Dell, Philips Electronics, as well as uh, traditional Google rivals like Microsoft. We're all speaking with one unified voice saying, we don't believe that this spectrum should go for to one company for one company's exclusive use. Instead, we want to see something more like Wi-Fi. So we've been calling this Wi-Fi 2.0. I personally like Wi-Fi on steroids. Um, so we're coming together saying we want to see un un unlicensed use of this spectrum. Um, our coalition has made a number of filings to this effect with the FCC. And, and, and Google's goal here is really to see more people having access to the internet. And we think TV white spaces is is a key component of that. We want to see uh, wireless internet access available to everyone, no matter where you are. You can find the information you're looking for. And a key part of that is having reasonable rules crafted by the FCC that really allow for uh, innovative uses of this spectrum.